Shalom, Apostle coming back at you once again with this truth. Real quick, this just in, um, CNBC one hour ago, U.S. drops largest non-nuclear bomb ever in Afghanistan. NBCnews.com, U.S. drops mother of all bombs on ISIS tunnel complex in Afghanistan. And Bloomberg 42 minutes ago, U.S. drops biggest bomb on Islamic State caves in Afghanistan. Now, some hours ago I put up a video on, um, it was entitled uh, WW3 Wars and Rumors of Wars. So this is basically a, um update to that. This individual, uh, Donald J. Trump, uh, the current president of the United States, is moving lightning fast. It makes me think about Alexander the Greek, where it said that um, when he um, went at the uh, Medio Persian Empire, Persians and the Medes, it was said that he was crazy to uh, go against uh, such a great uh, military but he did it anyway it was uh, set up uh, in prophecy I mean you can go to the book of Daniel uh, the seventh chapter Daniel the uh, eighth chapter and read about that you can also go to uh, the Apocrypha the Mac the Mac uh, the first Maccabees the first chapter Tells you about his father, father Philip and Alexander himself. And it was set up, you know, by way of prophecy that he was going to take down the uh, Persians and the Medes. And it said in the scripture that he touched not the ground. Meaning when, Ale when, the, when the Most High put the Spirit on Alexander to do what he had to do, he did it fast. It, it, it was it was a quick uh, takedown. He didn't take no breaks. He, you know his he had his military his men, you know riled up to take to take down these uh, dark nations that were in power, which the Persians and the Medes are dark nations. They're not Israelites, but they're part of the dark nations because you have all the nations on the planet are dark different shades of brown and then you have the Edomite which he's uh different shades of red anyway um I say it again uh, US drops largest non-nuclear bomb ever in Afghanistan um yeah we're close to this thing and um I mean what's going to happen in the next three months what's going to happen in the next six months yeah, this man um doesn't know how to take a break, a break. And now I'm thinking he dead, he might be Alexander the Greek. Because Alexander, when you go into the history, you know, he was a young man. Um, what was he, 20, 20 years old? When he really came into power and he died at the age he, he he got sick and died at the age of um, I believe it was 32. So the most I had him in power for a relatively short time, and he died at a at a at a young age. Now can this can uh, Donald J. Trump be uh, Alexander in the reincarnation? Maybe maybe not. I believe he could be um, Harrod, or as they call him, Harrod the Great, because Harrod had a uh, a dynasty, a, a powerful family. So, I mean, if something happens to him, one of his sons could take over, his daughter could take over, and um, you know, his his daughter, his oldest daughter, kind of reminds me of a Drusilla. In the book of Acts, you can read about her. 
And uh, Drusilla was known for her beauty. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say shalom. And, you know, when you read these scriptures, you got to understand history. If you don't understand ancient history, you really can't put these prophecies together. If you don't understand ancient history, you don't, you cannot, you cannot uh, break down a Daniel the seventh chapter. You cannot break down Daniel the eighth chapter, Daniel the ninth chapter, Daniel the eleventh chapter. If you don't know uh, history. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say shallow one.